Welcome back to A Minute with Alan. This episode is SCUBA. SCUBA stands for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus, in case you're interested. A long time ago, when we were in the island somewhere in the Caribbean, my son convinced me that the two of us should learn how to scuba dive. And so we took lessons. Uh, Patty, which is, I don't know what, Professional Association of Diving Instructors, I guess. Uh, and we learned at a pool, and then we practiced and so forth. And then we went out and actually scuba dived. And I remember the two of us sitting 40 feet down, <laughs> the bottom of this particular stretch, looking at each other while the instructor went back up to the boat with a woman who had panicked. But I found it fascinating. Whenever my wife and I went on vacation after that, if it were a, a, an appropriate area, I would scuba dive and I would go out with an instructor. I don't like groups. Groups are anathema to me. Uh, so I would hire a private instructor. And I, you know, we were in 12-foot waves at times. We did this, we did that. But it was always fascinating. Well, one time we went to Maui and I said to my wife, I'll see you later. And I got an instructor. And this guy was in his 50s. And um, sort of looked upon this as a side hustle, you know? I don't know what he did for a living. Uh, maybe he's an insurance executive. Who the hell knows? But um, he knew what he was doing, but he didn't care a lot. So he gave me my gear, and as we waded out in the water, I noticed my regulator had been bitten through. Someone had bitten through it, I guess in fright. And instead of going back, he didn't want to go back. He said, well, use your auxiliary regulator. Okay, fine. But <laughs> And so we go, and he says to me, you know, if we're lucky... Lucky, he said, I can't guarantee you. We might see a giant green turtle. They do hang out around here on occasion. So down we go, and we're looking at all kinds of fish, and it was very nice, and he, he just left me alone, you know. I didn't know, he was behind me somewhere. And then I feel a shadow on me, and I look up, you know, we're about maybe 25, 30 feet underwater, and there's a giant green friggin' turtle. You know, you don't have to be a biologist to recognize a giant green turtle. And so he's flapping by. I take off after him. I just want to touch this turtle. So after about, I don't know, five minutes, I think I'm gaining. My left flipper, I feel a tug on. Now I feel maybe a fish got me. It's the instructor, and he's furious. And he points to the oxygen level on his arm, the gauge, and he tells me to look at mine, and it's 30 pounds of oxygen left. You're supposed to surface with 50. <laughs> he points up, so up we go. So, you know, I blow up my vest. We're floating in the water. We're maybe 100 yards offshore. And he says to me, what possessed you to chase a green turtle? You'll never catch it. You were exhausting your oxygen. He was furious. I said, yeah, well, I felt I could do it. He said, it's rare. And he takes off at the beach by himself. You know, he had no patience. Um, he goes to beach. So he got to the beach like five, ten minutes before I did. I'm not a, that good a surface swimmer. And, you know, I, I uh, just took my own gear off and I put it in the tank. <laughs> And he was just pissed off. So uh, as I was walking back, you know, I tried to review this to see what I could learn. And what I learned was this. I'm really glad I went after that turtle. 